gradient, magic eraser, magic edit, AI text to image. Today we are talking about seven different cool new features in Canva and the one that I have used for years. Yes, this is Silhouette Success, and I am Brenda Lambert, a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. But I feel that these two programs work amazingly well together, and if you're not using them together, you are missing out. So, for anyone looking to up their design game, let's do this. Please note that most of these features are only available in the Pro Edition. It is a monthly fee of $12.99 or $119 annually. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to sign up. I know that they offer a free trial, but I'm not sure how long that lasts. Now let's get started. First up is the gradient feature. You'll want to select your element. In this case, I'm making a background. Click on the color tab at the top, add a new document color, choose gradient, pick your gradient colors, click on the plus sign to add more. You can drag your color blocks and rearrange them. And then you can pick your style of gradient. These last two options are not available in Silhouette Studio. And I feel that overall, the gradient feature in Canva is just more user friendly. Once you have everything set, you can download your new design element as a PNG and merge it into Silhouette Studio. Next, we're going to talk about photo editing in Canva. I recently posted a video on photo editing in Silhouette Studio, so if you want to compare and contrast, you can watch this video when we're done here. I'll link that in the description as well so you can find it. Now you're going to need a JPEG or a PNG for this one. So go to your Uploads tab, select Upload Files, find your picture, and then Open. Click on the Edit Image at the top, select Background Remover. Once it's done working its magic, you can go back to the background remover icon and you'll see little slider bars. You can click on that again and it gives you the option to erase or restore. This allows you to fix any areas that aren't quite right. Usually this feature is spot on and you'll need to do very little corrections. Now you can download your image as a PNG with a transparent background. If you have Auto Trace on in Silhouette Studio, it will come in with cut lines around it already. At that point, you can add an offset to the element for print and cut, or just use it in a sublimation design. Okay, we're going to stay in photo editing, but move on to the Magic Eraser. This will remove unwanted elements from your picture, and it's not Photoshop quality, but it will work in some cases. I'm going to go to the Elements tab and select a picture of a kitchen. Click on the photo at the top and then choose Magic Eraser. You can adjust the size of the eraser here. You want to completely erase the element without stopping. If you're not happy with the results, you can go back over the areas that need more work. Now, I tend to use Magic Edit a bit more than the eraser because it covers up the flaws that are left behind in the image. You're going to start off the same way. Edit Image, select Magic Edit, and erase whatever element you want to replace. Once that's done, you type in a description of what you'd like the AI to replace that element with. It also gives you suggestions down here. I'm going to go with a vase. 
The Canva AI will then generate four new images for you to choose from. And this is now my favorite Canva feature. That's going to lead us right into Canva's new AI text to image feature. You're going to love it. But first, it would mean a lot to me if you could take just a second and hit that like button. If this information has been useful to you this far, I'm sure it would be useful to other crafters out there as well. Your like helps to push it out into the YouTube universe so that other people can find it. To find the text to image feature, click on the apps tab on the left hand side of your screen. It's the first app to pop up on mine, but if you don't see it, just search text to image in the search bar at top. Go ahead and click on that and it will open up a text box where you can type in what you're looking for. I'm looking for spring flowers with happy bees. Next, choose your style and aspect ratio. Click create image and it will generate four options for you. There is a limit to how many AI images you can create in a day, but I can't seem to find an exact number on that. I will keep looking and update the description if and when I come across that information. Canva also offers Magic Write, and at first I thought I wouldn't use this feature in Canva at all, but check this out. If I click on the Canva Assist in the bottom right hand corner, I can choose Magic Write. I'll type in sarcastic sayings for custom shirts and ta-da! Even if these aren't exactly what I'm looking for, it's usually enough to get my creativity flowing. You can also go back into the Assistant and expand text. That will give you even more options. There are way too many cool things to cover in just one video. So if you want to learn more about Canva and specifically how it can be used with Silhouette Studio, let me know in the comments. Before we put all of this new information to use, I want to show you why I've been using Canva for a couple years now, like way before they introduced all these new updates. This right here, the Elements tab, Canva has amassed a huge library of graphic elements that you can use in your designs. It's searchable, which makes it easy to use, and they almost always have what I need. So many options. Are you still here? Go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.